Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to go through problem 14. In problem 14, it says if f of x is equal to this and g of x is equal to this, then the derivative of that, the composition of f and g at x equals 3 is what? Okay, well, this is just a question about chain rule. So first of all, if you so choose, you can find the composition function first. That is to say, you can find out that um, f of g of x would have to be plugging in g of x into f, which would read root, um, sorry about that, that was an ugly square root sign, that's better, root, um, and g of x is, so it would be g of x, right, squared, minus 4. And of course, this is going to look like root, and then it's going to be, um, 3x minus 2, which is what g of x is, squared, minus 4, and now you could, oh, that didn't look like a 4, minus 4, it's too far right, sorry guys, um, and now since this is f of g of x, you could just use chain rule to find the derivative of this fella and plug in 3 in it and you're done, right? So that's one way to approach it. Here's another way to approach it, which is like, um, if we are after the derivative of f of g of x, that is, we want d dx, which remember is just a fancy name for derivative of f of g of x, we know that the chain rule says that the derivative here should be equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. We've done this in many other problems, which is the derivative of the outer function without changing the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. And this, of course, only works if you choose to see um, this is just a composition of two functions, which is what's suggested anyway. And you just need to, we just need to evaluate this at x equals 3. In the vertical bar, I'm using to mean evaluate, and that's what it means in math anyway. Okay, great. So um, then I think I know what this looks like. First of all, we know that the evaluation will uh, mean that we have f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3. Okay, first of all, um, since g of x is equal to, um, well, we already have it, I don't need to rewrite it. Since g of x is that, I'll just write g prime of x right above it. It's obviously just 3, right? The derivative of g of x, um, therefore g prime of x is equal to 3. So it's constant. So for all values of x, g prime is just the constant value 3. So specifically at x equals three, g prime of three is also three. So this whole thing is just three. So I'm going to replace that with a three and I'm gonna switch back to black so that we can see that we've done that. And then the rest of it is, well, I want to get to f prime of g of three by first finding out what g of three is. Well, we already have g here. So g of three should just be three times three minus two which is equal to seven. So knowing that g of three is seven, I can then write this, this part as f prime of seven. So what I'm after, um, which is the final an answer I'm, I'm after is three times f prime of seven. Okay, so it's clear how we should uh, continue to finish. That is, we should go now to find f prime. Since f is that, um, since f of x is that right here, I'm going to write f prime over here and f prime of x is going to equal, first I'll rewrite f. Remember f of x it can be rewritten as x squared uh, minus 4 to the 1 half power. So f prime of x by the chain rule says uh, 1 half times x squared, ooh, sorry about that, x squared minus 4 to the negative one half power times two x. Okay, so you see clearly that this two on the denominator and this two in the numerator will cancel. Uh, and a simplified version of f prime will say, it will have an x in the numerator, that x there, and then its denominator will be x squared minus four to the positive one half, or just simply root um, x squared minus four. So this should be f prime of x simplified. So it's obvious that f prime of 7 will have to be 7x 
seven divided by root 49, which is seven squared minus four, so 45. And we can simplify that a little. It's gonna be seven over root nine times root five by square root rules. And therefore this is seven over three root five. That is f prime of seven is equal to seven divided by three root five. So now that we know f prime of seven, we could replace it. And so then three times f prime of seven, which is what we're after, is going to say three times seven over um, three times root five, okay? So we know that this simplifies a little, uh, the threes cancel, and we might wanna rationalize the denominator, but we'll glance up at the answer choices first, and if we can find this, then we're done. Oh yeah, we can find it, A, great. So continue to watch, take care.